Well, then who's the guy in first? That's right. And he wants the guy in second. What? Who? Yes, that's right. <laughs> um, anyways, um, as you know, in last August, uh, the Mississippi River Bridge I-35 collapsed during Minneapolis' uh, rush hour. Authorities have been investigating the cause of... <coughs> Speaking of obesity... <laughs> leading scientists have developed a theory about a virus that leads to obesity in humans. A delicious, cream-filled virus. <laughs> this just in. In the Winter Carnival Talent Show, seniors Ian Burnett and Evan Brown reportedly performed a segment of their noted Who's on First routine. Memo to Ian and Evan, it's just not funny anymore, guys. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> well, also in sports, Mascoma's varsity vol volleyball team has reached the breaching 0-16. <laughs> That's bad. And now, we have a special guest with us today. That's good. <laughs> Here with an editorial concerning the new high school, it's our very own Teddy Macalino. Yay! Thank you, Ian. Thank you. As you may know, due to the inadequate facilities of the current high school, the school board announced their intention to build a new high school and to abandon this fine piece of real estate. Now, this really upsets me. I'll, uh, I'll never forget the first time I came to this high school, it was my freshman year. I was here with my parents on orientation, I met my teachers, went to my classes. I remember a kind senior lifted me up to the water fountain to help me get a drink. It was a beautiful Art Deco fountain. I mean, this entire place is gorgeous. And they don't just have classes here, no, no. They have the finest dining facilities for lunch. They have grade A asbestos floor tiles. Teachers with their very own mobile classrooms. And above all, their very own Kobe Van Beast. I mean, this place is great. If they need more classroom space, why don't they just hold classes at Ramos across the street? I mean, it's 50 yards away, and they don't do half the business we do up here. Now, in other countries, they have a lot of respect for beautiful buildings. Notre Dame, Big Ben, the Listen Center. <laughs> I mean, the pyramids are still standing. No one could ever get in there for 200 years. In Greece, they got the Parthenon. Now I've been there. The place has no roof. There's no place to hold classes. There's no food. It's a good thing the district doesn't own that, because they probably just abandoned that, too. Let me, let, me, let me finish. Let me finish. Look, at Hanover, now there's a place that needs money. They can use it to build some educational buildings. Now they got the hop. The place is 500 years old and it was built by some rich guy for his dead wife. And there's not a single drinking fountain in the whole place. Not one. D don't touch me, Burnett! And even if there was a drinking fountain, the ushers wouldn't be able to help you get up and take a drink. You know why? Because they're too snobby and rich. They wouldn't dirty their precious little hands on some backwood bumpkin like myself. Shut, Shut up! up! Does the school board care about the hop? No. And another thing, do they care about Grafton? Do they care about Dorchester? I don't think so. They're just appendages. Towns they have to include in this little district of theirs. <laughs> they should make this place a national landmark. But no! No! They'd rather have more classroom space. They'd rather have nicer toilets. I bet they've never even seen this place. I bet they've never even been inside. I bet they've never drank it out of that water fountain. I bet they did. Teddy, I'm afraid, I'm afraid we're going to have to ask you to leave. You're getting far too silly. <laughs> far too silly. Yes, yes, far too silly, far too silly. Thank you. <laughs> That's the principle. This has been Channel 13 News. I'm, I'm Philip Seymour Hoffman. I'm Ralph Waldo Emerson. Good night. Wait, is it technically nighttime right now? Good night and have a pleasant tomorrow. Oh!